they come in here also enough. <laughs> John Porter. 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 So I live in Lyle County, Georgia, but I spent a lot of time in Florida. You know, you know. Okay, um, and one thing we do is paddles. Uh, some of our people just paddle from Jennings Bluff down to the Swanee while the lot is high enough to do that. We're going to schedule another of those. We hope you all will come. We've got a big one coming up in the summer called Paddle Georgia. About 300 of our closest friends are going to start at Truthville, just west of Valdosta. We're going to paddle right by the outflow from the Mayor John Gale Memorial with the Pucci Wastewater Treatment Plant. <laughs> 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 that makes it. So we're going to end up in Samani County. So I hope you all come. Now, uh, you may be aware that uh, FF publishes spill reports same day they get them on their website. Okay, they've been doing that for more than a year now. And that reveals that in the Swanee River Basin, since they've been doing that, there have been zero sewage spills in Florida. Not one. Not even from Lake City. Alabama also does this. Until recently, Georgia did not. However, thanks to uh, 30 organizations have helped us with the resolution to ask the Georgia EDP to do that. Some of those organizations are in our room, in this room, in the half large Santa Fe River. Starting on December 20th, the Georgia EPD now publishes every business day all spills for the entire state of Georgia. So I think it was your question, do other cities have this problem? You can see for yourself. And I, uh, we have on our website, walls.net, I'll send you a letter with all this, you know, I remember it. We have all of their reports since the beginning of 2015. So um, it does reveal little things like in early December of 2018, there were more spill locations in the city of Valdosta than in the entire rest of the state of Georgia. It also reveals in December of 2018, that at 1208 Wainwright Drive, Valdosta spilled 218,075 gallons of raw sewage on Friday or Sunday, and you know, it's still lime there, and the concrete's still broken by the manhole cover. And the fat one's on the dry edge, but it's been spilled there chronically for years. Um, it also reveals that in the month of December, Valdosta spilled more than 6 million gallons of all raw sewage. Yes, there was that earlier episode at Mud Creek where it wasn't raw sewage, but all the spills in December were raw sewage. That was more spills from Valdosta in the months of December of 2018 than in all of 2017. I used to brag on Valdosta. At least it's getting better until I saw December. And yes, they're spending a lot of money, and we all appreciate that, but you know, Valdosta being the largest city in the entire Swanee River Basin by far, it also has the largest responsibility to fix its problems. Um, one of the things that they've been doing, and you heard the utilities director allude to, is they've been doing weekly testing at uh, eight or nine locations on the rivers and creeks upstream and downstream, which is great. There's some interesting things we deal there, which is there's spikes and bacteria some way higher in the state limit when there are no spills. Now, I for one would like to know where those are coming from. There's a little catch. That house is going to be only monthly testing. I have suggested to Georgia EPD uh, that they might require us to do weekly testing. Also, maybe how about they post the results on their own website? Because while the utilities director said their data is available, the only way the public's been seeing is we've been filing open records requests and publishing the data on our website. Which we're willing to do that, but I don't know why Dallas could just do it directly. And um, if that, when there's a spill, they test at the state line now for one week. Not before, not after. You got the baseline. And what about those spikes that Bell is seeing when there is no spill? I would like to know how far those go down the river. Are those affecting wells in Hampton or Madison County? Now, you may wonder, okay, well, what, what are his walls doing? What is the line river keeper doing? We have started a volunteer water quality testing monitoring program. And um, you know, we're doing what we can. If anybody who wants to volunteer, please let us know. We'll get you trained. 
But uh, it's a big problem. It's a district-wide problem. It's a basin-wide problem. And I would hope the states of Florida and Georgia would also help out. Speaking of the state of Georgia, if you want to talk to legislators, Georgia State Legislator, up, uh, legislature up close and personal tomorrow at 5 p.m. at the old railroad you go in Atlanta. There's a thing called the Bird Supper. Probably you've never heard of it. Miles County, Valdosta, and the other four cities in the county of Lowndes every year held this dinner. They feed the legislators <coughs> quail over the Bird Supper. And if any of you or anyone in this room from Florida showed up, I bet you people would notice. So far, we've had one person show up at the Valdosta City Council meeting from Florida, Marilyn Wallace Gibson, sitting right here in the room, and boy, how do they notice that? So it's a problem. I won't take up your time here. I'll send you letters about two other topics. The Sable Trail gas pipeline already leaked in Swanee County. They didn't even tell that debt for a week. Kirk and FEMSA have made no response. And Sable Trail has now uh, put in service its MR station going to FGT, also in Swanee County, another possible source of leaks. And last thing, and then I'll sit down, is the BMAP log jam. If anybody in the room doesn't know what that is, you really should, because nitrate leachate into the springs and river is actually a much bigger problem than Valdosta sewage. So everybody's mobilizing about Valdosta sewage. Yay, uh, how about we do something about the BMAP? Put real solutions in there and real teeth if it doesn't get fixed. Thank you. Thank you.